Hello everyone and welcome back to a stray where we are here with our favorite little cat friend and uh, his new um, his new robot friend who I don't know where he went. B12 was around here somewhere. Did he go back in the bag? He might have gone back in the bag. Uh, but in any case, we finally got this door open and who knows what mysteries await beyond it. Uh, so I think we should go find out. I just hope it doesn't involve more of those sketchy, creepy little buggy things. Oh, the torchlight. Oh. Okay. I guess we can use this now. Interesting. So it seems to aim just about where we're looking at. What is this thing? A digicode. And I have no idea what code we would need. All right. Let's, um, let's see about finding that. Oh, there's a little cat guy there. Is that say help again? I can't tell. It might be the, um, might be the right, whatever language this is written in is, I think it must be a custom one, but I want, I, I still wonder if that is readable. Okay, I would like the light back, I think. Can we use the light? How do we use the light? There we use the light. Interesting. Oh, code. Okay. Code is written in English, so I wonder what lore implications that has for this world, or if that's just the means of making sure the player knows what's going on. In any case, pushing stuff off of shelves solves all of your problems. And it looks like the code is 3748. All right. Three... Oops. Stop that. How do I input things with the controller? There we go. Three, seven, four, eight. And through we go, it looks. Whoa, it's bright around here. Wow, look at this. Oh, and there's a bucket. We've ridden one of these things before. Wow, look at this place. That elevator in the distance, that's important, I think. I know we need to go up. Okay, well, I suppose to go up, one must start by going down. That's a language that I can read. And that says run, which I'm sure is fine and not at all ominous and not at all a sign of things to come. Oh, no. Nope. Whatever's down there. What? In the fresh heck is that? I don't want to find out. I just want to get out of here. Wait, I remember the outside. It feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? I promised someone I would go there. Promised who? This postcard, the mural was painted from it. Let's take it. Huh. We've got a postcard. Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. Curious. Oh, a new memory recovered. Okay, how do we view our items? Oh, we need to get to that big elevator, right? It sure seems like a way out. I think this must have been a hint. There's our items. We do have a memory 3%. Switch categories. Oh, show memory. Okay, so we can review what memories we have. I wonder if we're going to have to help our little friend here figure out what just what his memories are. Uh-oh. I feel like I'm about to get chased again soon, and I don't appreciate that. I am not ready to get chased by the heck bugs again. Oh no, look at the spookiness down there. 
That's ominous, and I don't like it. Can I go the other way? There's nowhere the other way to go. Okay. Oh, translate. Safe zone. I sure hope it's safe, because this does not feel safe to me. Oh, no, I don't like this. No! Stay away from me, hecker. Please don't immediately. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Please run. Please run. Please run. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get away. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, what the frick? Ah, they're still after me. They're going to figure out how to jump soon. The slums. Hello? What the frick is going on here? Hello? What? I... I'm a little bit concerned. What alarm was that? What the heck? What is this place? Hello? Who are you? I... Can't go anywhere there. What the... Wait! Come back! Oh, there's somebody up here. Hello, friend? Friends? F enemies? Who are you? They seem more scared of me than I am of them. Hello? Hello? Please don't attack me. I'm just a little cat. I don't mean any harm. You seem okay. Oh. The, the eye shines may be a little spooky. Oh. Friends? Friend? You seem to like the... Meow. Meat? Oh. That's incomprehensible. They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. Trust me, I don't plan to. I would like to not be eaten. That's that's my goal here. I guess B12 was right about there being others. Oh. You know, in a world like this, I really can't blame you for being afraid. Huh. We can talk. You look lost. What do you need? Oh, show item. Postcard. I guess we may as well. Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator is operational. Everyone knows that it's impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. We figured out we can ask for a hint. Oh. Can I make friends? You gave us such a fright. We thought you were a Zerk. I guess we may as well show the postcard. Oops, no, wait, I did want to show that. Can we show? Show item. Oh, very pretty. 
Joris. You really thought you'd take the elevator? I've never seen that thing work, and I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Have you ever seen this postcard or something like it? Such a beautiful dream. What a shame it's just a dream. Everyone here seems to live a very... Very kind of depressing life. <laughs> With no hope of, hope of seeing the outside. You seemed cranky before. Well, I go up there. There's nothing up there. I think Momo has some pictures just like this. Did you show it to him? I suppose that's our next step. Oh, hello. I take care of the plants. The humans improve them so much. Now they require very little light. Oh, interesting. I just add a bit of water and look how big they get. It really is an amazing technology. What's that? A beach? I've never heard of that in my whole life. I- this is surreal to go from... not... knowing any other creatures to now- oh. For a second I thought you were a whole person, but it's just that your head is bound with cables. I mean, I guess these guys probably are- are- are you people or are you robots? Or I think that's this. We're gonna find that out probably. <laughs> but you are intriguing. Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. A blue sky. Huh. I'll write a song about that one day. Oh. Oh, that's extremely cute. Oh, this place is a sanctuary indeed. Well, we can climb somewhere from here. I want to figure out... Remember? Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Companions, I wonder if that's... Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. Companions must be... what these, these people are then. I guess that answers that. Companions, were they created as companions to people? Like to humans? That would seem logical. Okay, kitty, you gotta jump down! I don't know how to get down from here. Barterman, Super Spirit Laundry, Grandma Clothing, and Elliot Programming. Interesting. Hello, new friend? You do look a little like a Zerk from a far away, at least. I wonder if those Zer the Zerks are the things that chased us. They look and sound cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal. They're terrifying. Yikes. That definitely sounds like the things that have been attacking us. Oh, is that the outside that Momo keeps talking about? Huh. I guess that must be the plants the farmer was talking about. I left it in the streets, and the next day the Zerks had consumed it completely. That's crazy, right? They can eat everything. Another picture of the outside? Get out of here with that stuff. It's all nonsense. All the weird stuff always happens to you, mate. I don't dare to leave our village. It's too dangerous. Besides, the Guardian is the only one who can open the door. That's a pretty picture. Fake, but pretty. What can we... Oh... Oh, that's so sweet. I think the dialogue is the same. Okay. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, we can curl up on the couch. This this isn't such an excellent feature. Like, my goodness, I'm so glad they added this. It does not advance the plot in any way, and that is so valid. This is just precious. <laughs> so to get to Momo, we gotta get up there. I 
think that might mean it's time for some parkour. Oh, hello, friend. Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. The outside? Momo told me he'd get me there one day. Circles of... Oh. I guess we have a false sky. Oh. I think we can get in... through the window. No! <laughs> in true cat fashion, we just materialize in this guy's house. Oh. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey you, what do you want? This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone, and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. Momo's notebook. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Oh, poor Momo. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsiders manifest and we must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerx. Fair enough. It's signed Clementine, Balthazar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Hmm. Are we going to break things more if we do this? Probably. Oh! I wonder if that's the four, then. Outsiders. Interesting. Oh! Let's make ourselves at home here. But it looks as if we've got... Oh, we can play with this. Momo, do you want to play with this? It might make you feel better. No? Well, alright then. I've noticed the lack of breakable things in the NPC's houses for the most part, and I guess they don't want you entirely destroying their stuff. <laughs> Which is fair. Oh, so we have to look around in the abandoned flats, look for an outsider logo. Okay, what's this bag? <laughs> Oh, I think this is like inverted my controls. Whoa, yeah, it definitely has. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, we can scratch up the door. <laughs> Sorry, but nature calls. I am a cat and I must scratch. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Oh! So we gotta get across to there, I see. That seems like a lead. Okay. Alright. Well, let's be off then. The movement and platforming in this game is very, very good. Like, it really does feel like being a cat roaming around and getting into mischief. One of four. 
Is this... This would not happen to be a notebook, would it? No. Oh, goodness. So many things to knock down, though. What the... Take Clementine's notebook. Yes, we need that. An outsider notebook is saying the logo is the one that Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down there in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes, I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. And so the mystery deepens. Sheet music! Oh! We know a musician. We know someone who might appreciate that. Oops. Okay, time to get out of here. <laughs> not that anyone will notice we've broken something, and not that that's the first thing we've broken, but you know what? Away we go. Remember... It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behavior. Huh. So there is somewhere above this place. Oh. Oh no, this poor this poor guy is stacking paint cans. It'd be a real shame if I went over there and knocked them all over, but I don't know. Oh, I'm going to have to, aren't I? Oh, it won't let me. <laughs> I don't think it'll let me destroy his hard work. Please don't bother Vapora. She's so clumsy. Oh! Okay, Vapora's down there. Yeah, we cannot destroy this. The, the, this game is, is good about not letting you make mischief where it would actually be mean, and yet enabling mischief where it would not be. <laughs> Alright. I think we need to get up here. No. Oh, this is back by Momo. Oh. Oh, so we need to get back over there. Okay. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Right up here. How do we get in? Ventilation power supply. Oh, I bet we can climb in there now. I bet, from the right angle, we can jump up here. And I bet that there was a fan that would have been hazardous to our health had we attempted earlier. Oop. Yeah, right through here we go. Okay. Oh! We have toppled some boxes. I don't know if that's something we needed to do. But it has been done, nonetheless. Oh, yes, it was! Look! Balthazar's notebook. Nice work, another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zabal... Zabal... Yeah, Bel... I'm just gonna say Balthazar, because I cannot pronounce that Z. <laughs> Zabalthazar, I guess. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. Uh-oh. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. Well, we've only got one left. Oh, we can- we can scratch on this. Oh, we can pull this down, probably. Oh. My mischief has led to promising things. Oh, that's another outsider flat, isn't it? Okay, so if we can get across to that... Can we parkour our way here? No, I think we'll have to go down and then up? We have to get up to there somehow. We can get there from here, can't we? Yes, we can. Okay. 
There we are. <laughs> oh! This doesn't seem like a good idea. However, I am a cat with no concept of consequences. Oh, you- I thought we were gonna drink it. I thought we were just gonna drink it and immediately be, like, the frickin' zoomiest of cats. <laughs> oh. Bap the button. Oh. Interesting. Through here? Whoa. This is wild. This is a whole library. Translate. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. Oh my goodness. Oh. Those noises are not good, but... Now this is what I call a catcophony. All these books, and yet we just need one in particular. Wait, there's something down here that could be of interest. Translate. Hey Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. We got keys? It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books, just the librarian. Oh my goodness. Safe. Maybe not in this room. But in another? Where else? I mean, there's great piles of books basically everywhere. There's the safe. I see it now. We just gotta knock all these books down. Fortunately for a cat like me... That, that's just an everyday mischief. Alright, what item do we need? We need the keys. Or we- yeah, these keys, right? Yes! A lucky cat again as well. What is that thing? Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp, but this we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh. There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo prepare the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Can we- we can't take whatever that mysterious thing is. Well, let's get this back to Momo. I... I hope that's not what became of Jess the Librarian. Let's go ahead and show Momo. We want, pro I think it's Doc's notebook that we found. Oh, it belongs to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He's always on the verge of a great discovery. Oh, we need the note, don't we? Was there a separate note? No. Maybe not? Oh, you found Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know, the most fearless person I've ever met. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired. This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside the slums. Clementine, Baltazar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you I'll find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Oh? Voila! It works! 
Come with me. Oh. Out the window? Oh. Up there, see that building high above the others. If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. Oh, okay. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Oh. Way up there. I see. Then our mission is clear. To the top we go. But I think we'll have to do that in the next episode because unfortunately it is getting to be about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll have to try and take that transceiver and install it and see what becomes of us when we when when we do see if it does indeed restore communication to the city. I certainly hope it will. But we'll have to find that out next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.